Mr. Durst, this is my last question. As you sit here right now, I'm going to ask you, did you kill Susan Berman? No. But if you had, you would lie about it, correct? Correct. Nothing further. He catches you where? Right up around the threshold of the carpet. Right, where, where he ended up with his head, uh, with the slitting of the throat, right? I don't know. You saw the photographs, though, right? I saw, I saw. And you saw the big blotch of blood that was there on the breachway there between the tile and the, and the carpet, right? Yes. Is that about the area where he caught you? Yes. And is that where he grabs you by the wrist? Yes. And he grabs you there by the wrist, and does he, does he still have this look of a madman or not? I didn't look. Were you looking down, or what were you doing? I don't know if I might have had my eyes closed. I was still not looking at him. Pardon? I was not looking at him. Two epic cross-examinations. Nine days. Nine days apiece of cross-examination. Of course, we're talking about Robert Durst, on the one hand, the trial you're watching here on Court TV, and Jody Arias uh, a few moons ago uh, when she testified. But it was really much different, and it was handled differently by the two prosecutors. John Lewin, who was prosecuting... Robert Durst on the left and Juan Martinez, who prosecuted Jody Arias on the right. I would say John Lewin a little more conversational, Juan Martinez a little more confrontational. Um, definitely different tones, but both epic, long, record-setting cross-examination. So I asked you, who was more effective, John or Juan? We begin with our 13th juror comment of the day. It comes from Romy who says, I think Martinez did a more effective cross. However, he only had to go from an A to a B. Lewin has to prove an older murder occurred before we can get to the murder at hand. All right, Ann Bremner, John versus Juan, different approaches, but nine days each. Right, I would say brothers from a different mother in some ways. I mean, it was basically form over substance. Both of them on substance for, you know, A+. plus. They know their cases, they're aggressive. Juan Martinez is a lot more physical. And of course, you've got Lewin sitting in a chair with a tablet, you know, for the defendant to answer questions. But yeah, same number of days, epic cross-examinations, both, I think, very effective. Lisa, tonight, John Lewin is just rude. He insults Durst <laughs> on everything from his appearance to his sense of humor. As for Juan Martinez, he had facts, not a comedy hour. Michael Sterling, uh, your thoughts about the difference in the tone uh, between the, the two. I mean, Juan Martinez, intense, relentless from, from day one to day nine. John Lewin, you know, there have been moments of levity. Yeah, Benny, I would say cross-examination certainly depends on the circumstances of the case, the, the uh, particular witness that you're cross-examining, and a number of other factors. I think they were both uh, extraordinarily effective. Uh, you know, it, you know, it's hard, it, it's hard to tell, but, you know, it depends on the nature of the court, the jury that's picked, the particular witness. So there are a lot of factors that go into it. Okay, Donna tonight. While I like both of their styles, Lewin is pretty much overkill. I get that they don't want the same result as the Morris Black trial, but it's just beating a dead horse at this point. Al Wunsch, uh, he has not been accused of killing any horses. Had nothing no. to do with uh, Godfather <laughs> 1. Uh, but let me ask you about the length. Is nine days, is going through all of Robert Durst's life, was it too much here? Well, I, I have actually had someone on the stand for nine days, Vinny, nine days, and it is excruciating. I do think that the comedy aspect of it or the levity aspect of it as it's been put forth is kind of important if you're going to be on, have someone on there for nine days. I think it's too excruciating if you don't have some sort of levity with it. Um, I think Lewin was having a good time, and... You know, I, I think his trial is sort of shooting, you know, fish in a barrel. Whereas on the Jody Arias situation, you, know, you, you had a you had a tough cookie up there. You had a, a you know an attractive woman, and he needed to get under her skin to try to peel away from the that you know that look, smiling in her mugshot, all that kind of stuff. So. I don't fault them for the nine days, and I don't fault Lewin for, for getting, I mean, there was a great part in the Durst thing where Durst said he was going to kill himself. He was going to put one gun to this hand and I one gun to this hand. I hear some music, Al. You're out of time. You're out of time, Al. 
Al Wunsch, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Sterling and Bremner. Thank you all so much. We've got much more straight ahead. Don't go away.